Well, we had the canyon winds during the overnight hours, but those winds will be coming down as we head into the later morning into the early afternoon. Temperatures not too bad, starting out in the middle to upper 60s right now, eventually climbing into the upper 70s for the lunchtime hour. That's when our chances for storms will improve, especially around lunchtime and then into the early evening. Temperatures climbing back into the middle 80s here in Albuquerque for highs. We'll make it to 86 degrees, 80 degrees for high temperature in Santa Fe, 80 also in Grants, 93 degrees will be your high in TRC, 84 in Silver City, 93 degrees in Carlsbad. So the further south and east you go, the hotter it's going to be. But our chances for scattered storms around the state looks pretty good as we head into the afternoon. We have southerly flow pumping in that moisture. We had a cold front moving through last night, so that's why we had the activity around New Mexico last night, and that's why we had the canyon winds. We'll continue with that southerly flow for today, giving us chances for scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout the state. We'll also have a low pressure system moving on top of all that moisture, which is giving us better chances for storms, not only for your Saturday, but the chances will continue for the second half of the weekend. But then as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, an area of high pressure moves back on top of the state. And you know what that means? That's going to dry us out slowly, leaving us with only a few spotty storms basically over the mountains and temperatures heating back up into the 90s by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week here in Albuquerque. So here's Super Storm Track as we head into the later morning hours. The clouds will build, bringing that chance for more scattered storms, especially around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. We'll see a chance for storms stretching from northeastern New Mexico into Albuquerque, Santa Fe, and also off to our west around Gallup and the Gila. And that chance will continue as we head into the evening hours as well. So it's going to be pretty active. We do have flash flood watches posted for today. They, those run until later on tonight. We'll continue with the chance for storms not only for tomorrow, but also on your Sunday. It'll start out dry once again on Sunday morning, and then around lunchtime we'll see the thunderstorms fire around the mountains, and then they'll continue to spread in parts of New Mexico into the evening hours. So it looks pretty active also for the second half of your weekend. So here's the extended forecast for southern Colorado temperatures today. Climbing into the 70s, you'll make it to 78 degrees in Durango, 76 in Pagosa Springs, and also in Alamosa. 81 degrees will be your high in Cortez. A chance for rain today, and the chances will continue for Sunday and Monday before things dry out a bit on Tuesday and Wednesday. Then in the northwest, temperatures climbing into the 80s in Farmington, also in Gallup and Grants, 80 degrees for a high in Cuba, and 81 in Dulce. Not as good of a chance here for storms, but there will be that slight chance for a few spotty storms around the northwest, and that chance will continue for Sunday and also on your Monday with temperatures in the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. In the southwest, you'll make it to 84 degrees in Silver City, 84 in Glenwood, 93 degrees in TRC, 92 in Deming, 95 degrees in Alamogordo, and 91 in Socorro with a pretty good chance for scattered storms today. And also for your Sunday, temperatures in the middle 80s for Saturday, Sunday, and even into Monday before we dry out on Tuesday. In the southeast, it's going to be hot. Temperatures climbing back into the middle 90s in Roswell, 93 degrees in Carlsbad, upper 80s in Lovington and Hobbs. Cooler around the mountains, middle 70s in Ruido, so upper 60s in Cloudcroft with a chance for storms, and that chance will continue for your Sunday as well. In the northeast, we'll have more rounds of storms this afternoon into the evening. Temperatures in the upper 70s in Las Vegas to the middle 80s in Santa Rosa, 90 degrees for a high temperature. And Tucumcari will keep the chances for storms going for Sunday and Monday before we start to dry things out by the middle of next week. Over the northern mountains, we'll be in the 70s and the 80s, 83 degrees in Española, 80 in Santa Fe. Chances for storms for today, tomorrow, and also on Monday. And then the activity comes down a bit on Tuesday and Wednesday. And the East Mountains will be in the middle 80s, 84 degrees in Edgewood with more storms. And then over the metro, temperatures climbing back into the middle 80s. You make it to 85 degrees in the South Valley, also 85 in Rio Rancho. Here's the extended forecast. More rain on the way for the second half of the weekend, and that chance will continue for Monday.